Ooh. Hey guys, what is up, Papa Snow here, coming to you live from Guyana with just a project update. Okay, so we are here at the West Amazon housing scheme site where we have our development here in Guyana in South America. Okay guys, uh, for those of you who don't know, we are actually here building a private network community and there are options for persons to join our network, for persons to be able to purchase land from us uh, in the community that we are building. Currently, we are doing work on the Access Roadway, which is a very big project in itself. Well, you just wanted to make sure it's nice for the community and for our persons who are uh, coming on board. All right, so for a site update for our members who are already invested into the project and those who are set to be residents of our area, just to give you a nice little site update. So currently, we are leveling off this road. We have been cutting and filling. We've got about another week of cut and filling work to do on this roadway as we continue all the way down to where the actual scheme site is so as you can see we've moved maybe about 3,000 to 4,000 tons of dirt already uh, you know just coming and bringing it all forward it's a, it's a lot of work that's being done so the dozer is doing some good work here uh, I did notice that we had some rainfall today and like the dirt got a little bit heavier. So I am watching the performance of the dozer that is uh, working here today. I think this dozer could probably push a little harder. So I'm gonna be checking up with the uh, operator shortly. This dozer shouldn't give a problem to push that amount of dirt. But there could be, it could be, you know, the challenge of the dirt being wet right now, giving us a little bit more resistance. All right, so. Why is this is happening? Remember, all of this area behind me will be cut, leveled, filled, and set for drainage. Right this way now will be very easy to maintain the roadway uh, when the government takes over maintenance of the roadway. Okay, uh, this is just something that we're doing here to make sure that the access and everything is safe and solid. Because you know, I don't want to have our community affected later on uh, by any further road work or development that could hinder or change the quality of the atmosphere that we are creating uh, in our community. Big thing. So we do have Betsy the excavator working down at the back. All right, so today Betsy's focusing toward actually getting to the housing scheme site, which is actually right beyond those trees there. And, uh, a lot of work going on here, man. A lot of work. All of these low-lying areas will be filling up and we'll be redefining drainage to ensure that every and anyone can have good drainage throughout this community. So that is our contribution basically to the community here, to all of our neighboring estate owners, right? See, because this is what we had reached. There were a lot of areas like this where the water is about a foot high. So, like this area was very low. You could actually see how low this area was. This, that's about a good three feet lower than the, where the actual roadway is. So, all of these areas, like I said, this earth is being mitigated. And um, we'll balance it all out. So... I was actually trying to find out, you know, uh, I, I had a, I had a little theory that I wanted to check on. For years now, I noticed that this roadway, the front of the roadway was actually higher, this dam. And I was wondering how come the roadway was actually set like this in the angle going down. And then it dawned on me, it's erosion. This stream here, is always moving this way. So every time these drainages were cleaned in the past and dirt was built up on the shoulders, because this would be normally what they would do when they would clean drainage over here. They would dig out the silt, they would dig out other dirt, and they would pack it on the shoulder to build back uh, the dam defense. Well, what's happening is after years of no one doing proper maintenance on these other areas, 
every time they build the dam shoulder over there, the erosion would actually wash it forward. And when they would come and build the dam shoulder in the front, they would be taking the same dirt that traveled along this waterway and packing it up. So over years of doing that, do you have any idea how much dirt actually moved from one area to the next that we have to actually put back to rebuild this critical drainage and access way here, right? So believe it or not, a lot of the material to rebuild this whole dam and this roadway was actually right here on the ground. It just had to be, you know, reused correctly and put back in the right places to make sure that everything is uh, foundationally strong. If not, eventually it would have all just washed away through the coca and into the river, which would be a serious waste of material. So, you know. I don't like that sound. I'm hearing bees. I'm hearing bees over there. I'm hearing a very loud buzzing. Sounds like they're angry. When you hear that, you have to be very, very careful to know what area they're in because if you go and you irritate them and that whole hive comes after you, well, I ain't got time. I'm running, right? Because those bees ain't easy. Those bees will kill you, right? You no, know, you get caught out here. It's not a good thing. We did have some bees in here when we were cleaning. Um, we had to remove them. Got a good amount of honey, like five gallons of honey. See, coming across a lot more low areas. So all these lower areas have to be filled in. So all this dirt has to be spread out whole place We're talking about a lot a lot of work here people a lot of work here see because all of this has to be filled up you see what's going on we can't allow this to happen not when we have a roadway all of this will be fixed now one of the reasons why we do all of this updating right so that everybody can see the challenges that we have to face and get some inspiration man, a little motivation that despite the fact that you see all of this work here, it'll get done. So, been clearing, prepping, and moving toward the right direction. So Betsy is going to be pushing from the front, and the dozer is pushing from the back leveling coming forward so we found our rhythm guys this is a very important thing right find your rhythm with your work once you get your rhythm you start to move just remember what this place looked like right just want you guys to remember what this whole place is looking like see how low this area is here watch how low this land is here in this area we're only about two feet from where the height of the water is here so when all of that dirt comes down we'll be somewhere like about this much higher from where our sloping edge actually comes in to the waterway and then this whole area of course will be very very high and leveled out as we are coming down the line For my neighbors live in the area, we're gonna nice up a very nice drain for you guys. Compliments of our network. Do a very nice drain for you, save you some money. And hopefully this could encourage my neighbors to actually start to develop something here. And if you are my neighbor and you live in this area and you were looking to do development you can contact us, become a network member, and we will assist you 
with your development, which I think is pretty darn good. Of course, we're going to finish ours first, right? That is a must. Finish ours first. To walk down here. It's like we didn't really get much rain down here. I'll be back here. Walk down. So you start to see an open area, but that's not our scheme site. Though our scheme site looks a little like that. It's actually much, much bigger. Get an idea when we're done with this place. It's a lot of work we're doing. A lot of work. Okay, good. So... You can see the boundary line, a little bottle top on it, temporary boundary indicator. So that you know where the roads end. So the width of the road is from like where this guy is standing to where that little stick is right there. A little bottle top on top of it right now. So as it is, we are building, cleaning, and going through. Now you can see how this area is suddenly higher than some of those low spots over there, right? Over there was pretty low. So that's why uh, filling, that's why filling this land is very, very important to make sure that we don't have any type of swampiness here and also drainage. Setting up the necessary drainage is important for our neighbors and our community. I can't stand people who move into a community and do things without regards to the people who are there before them. Right? Consider that to be very selfish and one-sided. And there's some people. This is deep. I, I want to know before I, I fall in. And I. And boots gonna sink, right? And I, I gotta jump over from this thing. Just to be safe. And there was no accident. Not today. Sorry. Gotta be acrobat here. Ah, oh, scoots. Okay, good to go. My boots did sink, you know. See what happened here? The mud stop right there. Hold me on. Hold on to me there. Okay. Good thing I could catch myself, though. I do have to dig myself out of this, though. Because this thing don't want to lose my foot. See, this is why I tell people, come with long boots. Okay, I gotta get myself out of this. Yo, what? Okay. Watch, pop over here fast. Because I can't lose this phone and dig myself out. <laughs> Holy crap, that ant just bit the living daylight out of me. What the hell was that? Ugh. Yeah, so now I feel I feel like the machine that gets sticky out of there. Uh, yeah, you gotta get, get my foot a little bouncy. Ah, thank you very much. What? It's the boots, man. It's the boots, guys. These boots just, look at this. That mud just held onto me. Don't walk back here with children until this road is finished. This mud will hold you. I can tell you that. I need a little brace there. Could have dig my way out, but can't lose the phone to do so okay now, now I gotta wash my hands look at this all right guys let's see see how I could do this without getting too messy and I knew it I was looking at the mud right I'm like that this stuff look real slippery okay well that's why I'm wearing work clothes right can't come crab dance and I'll get mud on you. That's what this is right now. This is a serious crab dance. Alright, there. Oh, it's a lot of work here, though. I'll show you guys what's going on. So, we are clearing down the whole area. So, you can see our indications, our little boundary sticks. So, that space there. Space that has to continually be cleared. Going down. 
This is good. And then, of course, the extra space we need to clear for the drainage. Make sure that there's drainage for everyone. Right? That's a big, big thing. Give everyone some good drainage and everyone will be very happy. Look at this. All right, so we still got another day of clearing as we're going down before we get to the scheme site. And then of course, Dozer is right back there coming through leveling off. So just a progress update, a lot of work and I've got to take this call. And I've also got to jump back across this little stream. So in the process of doing so, let me get off of this life. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.